Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So, so we're going to discuss about SENS stock or Sensionics holdings. What we can clearly see if you're looking at the recent price move, we have seen a massive spurt and the stock, uh, you know, without the volatility has uh, swung more than 70%, but with the volatility, at least closed, you know, more than 30%. So what we have seen is a massive upswing, which has already started. Now with this upswing and it is uh, happening after a very very big downside so with this upswing the good thing is the stock is now trying is now sustaining above its previous support level uh, which was 0.36 and 0.38 and right now the close is well above both these levels so prime of AC we have 0.38 which is our support and we have 0.36 as far as the stop loss is concerned so please do not go below these two specific levels and uh, we ha also have 0.43 which is our immediate support now because the stock is sustaining above all these levels 0 0.36 0 0.38 and 0.43 what we have in front of us are 0 0.50 and 0 0.52 or 0 0.53 which is our next target or I would say uh, next uh, resistance on the upside or you can say that these two levels are your big resistance and once the stocks are passed and sustain above 0.53 then it will be a potential breakout that will start thereafter so right now what we have seen number one a big trading upswing and number two, this is the range which is currently active. Now the stock has already made an attempt uh, for a breakout. It was not successful, but if it continues to trade and sustain above 0.43, that's the first situation. And um, if it eventually surpasses 0 0.50 and 0 0.53, it will be a potential breakout which is on the card. And the big price action may even push the stock towards 0 0.62 and 0 0.75. But these are all conditional levels. Right now what is active is 0 0.43 on the downside and 0 0.52 and 0 0.53 on the upside. If only it sustains above 0 0.53 or more, then we are talking about the potential breakout and this highlighted section which will become active thereafter. Meanwhile, you just need to remember one thing. The stock is extremely volatile and most importantly we are talking about the near term trend so please do not go below the support and the stop loss otherwise downside may resume once again so this is the end of the video thanks for watching